How'd you like to play a baseball game for 100 innings? The Okanagan College Coyotes will attempt that this Sunday right here at Elk Stadium. Head coach of the Okanagan College Coyotes, Jeff White, joins us 100 innings of baseball. First of all, where'd you come up with this? Um, a lot of programs uh, in college use this as a, as a fundraiser for their programs, so um, it, it's kind of a common thing uh, to do a 100 inning fundraiser. What guys get tired? I mean, that's the first question. Are guys looking forward to this or saying, oh, God, we'll play 100 innings? No, guys look forward to it. It's, uh, it's an opportunity to have some fun, too, and, and you know, kind of relax and just play, play the game and, um, you know, for a good cause to raise money for our program. So um, I think the guys really look forward to it, actually. Okay, so you mentioned fundraisers, and all the money raised goes to the program, and what does it go to? Um, mainly it goes for... Um, travel and equipment uniforms uh, and we also designate some of the money to scholarships for some of our players so um, it kind of goes into our, our whole program to give our guys more opportunity on and off the field. Rain or shine? Rain or shine. <laughs> Have you played in the rain before? No, we haven't actually done the 100 inning game in the rain before. We've okay. usually, um, in the past couple of years, have done it in the spring, and the weather's a little bit nicer, but this year we're going to switch it to the fall. And same rules apply. Guys are out here playing, hustling. What are some of the scores like? Um, some of them get pretty high. You know, they're 50, you know, 50 runs, 60 runs in around that area. So um, it, it's definitely an interesting day. Last chance, too, for you to see guys in action here in the fall uh, going into the winter months. So is that a, a welcome thing for players? They you know, get a chance to stop playing for a bit? Um, I think so. I, um, a lot of them have come from high school programs where they played quite a few games this summer. And then, you know, we've played, you know, 35 plus games with inner squads this year. So um, I think they're looking forward to a break and getting into the gym and also getting into the fundamentals um, of the off season and into the, the cage and working on some individual stuff. Um, so I really think it's been a great fall in terms of the coaching staff getting a really good sample of what our players are doing right now and where we need to be. So they're in the gym, they're in the batting cages. Is that basically everything that they'll be doing during the winter time? Uh, they'll be in the weight room. Um, We'll be doing some dry land stuff, some agility training, that type of thing. So there'll be lots of different things for them to uh, to keep up with. Um, but it's definitely just time to sit back and do some individual stuff. When does spring start? February 7th, we're in uh, Las Vegas and, and Phoenix for our, our annual spring trip. Um, so this year, it's a, it's a week earlier than normal. So um, it's not a very long off season for us. It's about three months and then we're back at it. So um, we're really looking forward to this spring though, for sure. So this Sunday, the 100 inning game, can people come out and watch? And if people want to donate, can they? Yeah, absolutely. Um, they can go online and get the form for 100 inning game off Okanagan College baseball.ca uh, the gates will be open for anyone who wants to come out and watch um, it's all, this year it's a Halloween themed ah. game so there'll be some players having some fun dressed up uh, <laughs> doing some doing some fun things there so are you dressing up no I will not be <laughs> come on <laughs> <laughs> not this year all right head coach of the Okanagan College Coyotes the 100 inning game is this Sunday at Elk Stadium